got her. <laughs> That's the one that would come out after me. <laughs> That's what I said. So I said, I got her. <laughs> That's not the right one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Bob Mace coming here. In the back of the boat with me, Jody Stevens. We're on Lake X, folks. We are in Canada. We're on his favorite pond. Don't go anywhere. Musky action like that. Guaranteed. Jody's private little pond. He's going to show me a big fish or two before we're out of here. Out of way, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Bob Mace coming here. For nearly two decades, I have been blessed with opportunities to fish throughout North America and none of this could have been made possible without you, the viewer. I would personally like to thank everyone for allowing me my dream and welcome you to Simply Fishing for another great angling adventure. Brought to you by the Canadian Connection. Go where we go throughout Canada. Evan Root Outboards. Fish leaner, meaner, and cleaner with direct fuel injection. Motor Guide Trolling Motors of Brunswick Corporation. Peterson Tackle, makers of the Inhaler, the Duke, and the Joker. Hose Lures, makers of the Awaker and the legendary Giant Jackpot. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Shimano Compre Rods and Calcutta Reels for precision and proficiency unite. Western Filaments Tough Line and Tough XP with tension lock technology. And Video Ray, going where no underwater camera has dared to go. You want to work across this, Jody, and what, back over here behind me? Yeah, let's work this boulder pile that's behind us here, Bob. She's got a real steep drop off on the back side. Okay. We'll come up on the, right on the back side of the, where that farthest rock is. Okay, great. That area right there behind you that we just fished, that's actually a little saddle too, right? Uh, yeah, there's a deep, deep pocket right in here between here, and there's a rock finger that comes off of here and runs right over to it. Okay, so you got a pretty neat little complex going here. Oh yeah, it's a little musky apartment house. <laughs> you got that inhaler? I got right. an inhaler on there right now with an orange blade. What's it gonna be, jackpot or inhaler, huh? Yeah, one of the two. They've been hitting both in here. Yes, stay with her. It's gonna jump. It's gonna jump. Yeah, stay with her. Got her hooked off. When you're ready, you can bring it back around. We're good. Got a good drift. Oh! <laughs> nice fish. Good job, big guy. Thank you. Good job. Trying to eat the back of that Evan Rude back there. <laughs> she hang, wanted it, didn't she? Yeah, hang tight for a second. I'm going to move Kay. these rods. Grab the basket, and we'll just leave her Got right her. in the water. Got, Got her. her? Yep. We're in a good drift. We'll break. We'll just drift off of this real quick. Hooks out even. Good. Gotta like that. Man, she inhaled that. Peterson, didn't she? She wanted it. <laughs> nice fish. Okay, got her? Easy girl, easy girl. She got a lot of fight in her yet. Oh yeah, she got a lot of fight. She come blowing out of the water at the back of the boat there. Easy, easy girl, easy. Good job. I'm gonna let you step back up on the back deck with her when you get her out. Hold her up for a couple of seconds. We'll show the viewers. Nice fish. There we go. Good job. Is that about a 42, 43? Uh, maybe 44. 44? She's up there. Nice mid-40 fish. Set her back. Well, I'm out of here, huh? I guess she wanted to leave. I guess so. <laughs> well, we called it a diamond in the rough, huh? <laughs> sure did. I'm going to get this inhaler out of here, and we'll pull the boat back into the wind and keep fishing around this. 
You said this is a spot where you've had as many as 350 inches going at one time. At one time, yeah. How come you're wet? Oh, she was a little uh, trying to get even with me, I think. She's trying to get even with you? What do you mean she's trying to get even with you? <laughs> she didn't like them hooks in her mouth. She didn't like that, huh? No, she didn't. <laughs> I got to admit, I did like it, though. Absolutely. There he is, little guy. Little guy, there's that little guy. <laughs> hang tight, hang tight. Let me get this in. I'll get a net. Here, I'll hand grab her. Okay. That's that little guy I saw the first time through here. Bring her this direction, I'll hand grab her. Yeah, she came on in though. She nipped at it the first time when she came up. Yeah. She took the eight, though. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's what that bigger one was supposed to do, Bob. Supposed to do, I know. I don't think that big one went the same school this one did. Yeah, well, no, the big one graduated. <laughs> the big one graduated. <laughs> okay, I finally got this thing where I can work with it now. Okay, come here. Okay, there you go. Oh, it's the most boring. I got it. Go ahead, hit free full. How about that? That's why they're ever, everything's on a string. <laughs> Good job. Well, thanks, Bob. She really ate that figure eight. We're going to be on that rock in a second. Maybe I'll let you untangle this. You bet. No problem. I got it. There again is a case, though, that we fished over both of those fish. Exactly. Twice. Neither one of them showed its face. Yeah, neither one of them. OK. I think you need to tune an inhaler, though. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Attention musky anglers, Muskies Inc. is looking for a few new musky anglers, anglers who want up to the minute access to important and timely information. For more information on how to become a member, simply call 1-888-710-8269. So we got 20.7 feet right here, and I can see rock right there. Yeah, this side of the structure is really steep, and it turns into cabbage weed just around the point there. So they got a little living room, huh? Yeah, they got a little bit of everything. They can either stay and hide on the rock or hide in the weeds. Or use the depths if they want to. Yeah, they've got easy access to deep water. Now we came in here yesterday, we had what? Four fish four, going in here? Four fish going at once, yeah. Pretty nice ones too. That's cabbage where I just landed. You're coming across the rock right yep, there. I got the rock. See, we just stepped up to 10, just it's turning the boat. Just, just like that, bit. yep. Oh, look at the boulders down here. You got it. That's why we're here, Bob. Man, there's boulders all over. You can see them. Big boulders. Boulders and cabbage. Whoop. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Rock and roll. We can both see the same cabbage pile. <laughs> yes. Hey, what can I say, man? <laughs> there's cabbage you can't see, too. Right. I can see it on my graph. Yeah, there's deep water cabbage. Yeah. We had a couple of pretty respectable fish going here yesterday. Yeah, that one was in the high 40s. Yeah. Guessing. With a couple of close classmates with it. Yeah, yeah, they were in the... Mid 40s, good, solid mid 40s. Yeah. It's amazing how many fish can locate in one, one area like that. Yeah, if you have forage and cover, you know that's the key elements. You got to have forage and cover. See now I'm up in 5.9. I'm gonna kind of work us out just a little bit. All right. Your cast just landed about where you had those fish going yesterday. Yep. A little out of my reach, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep kind of probing this deeper cabbage out here. Because I can see it on the graph. Can't see it physically, but I know it's there. 
Lots of cabbage down there. Yes. That's a big one. Hold on, she's on the boat. Over here, Bob. She got that inhaler little blade right in her eye. <laughs> she don't <laughs> like that. Look at her. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bring her around. She's a good fish. Well, she's gonna come if you want. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna tell her what to do yet. Sorry? I don't think you're gonna tell her what to do yet. No, no. We're just gonna give her a second here. She's hooked pretty well. Ooh, thick fish. She is really nice, isn't she? Ooh. And that fish that was here yesterday was bigger than this. Yes. Take him on, girl. <laughs> so you don't like it. I'm putting some muscle on her down there. She don't care for it. Okay, I'm going to bring her back around. Let's net her. Okay. There's her home. You see There's that? There's her home. That's what she's in. Good job. That's what she's in. You see that cabbage right there? The cabbage is down below the surface. You can't see it. I can see it on the graph when we're coming through this. We've got rock apron coming out. Big cabbage patch in here. That's where this girl was. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Jody, you know your pond. What's that? You know your pond. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to fish with somebody that knows their pond. That's a good solid fish. Oh, look at the size. Look how thick that tail is. Yeah. And as long as she played, she still ain't played out by any stretch. She's got that, uh, she's got it locked firmly in her jaw. It's going nowhere. Stay right there. Want to see her quick? Sure, let's bring her up. Oh, nice fish. That's a good chunky fish. Nice girl. Woof da, you know your pond, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice chunky fish. I want to show him the cabbage here in just a second when I put this fish back. Okay. That's a good fish. 46? Yep. 45? Yeah, right in that bracket. Right in there. Nice fish. They are so beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous fish. Oh yeah, she's easy 46. Look at how big the root is. Yeah, that's what the first thing I saw was how thick that tail was. Yeah, I got a tape measure if you want to measure her, but I, I know she's in that class yeah. in place. Yeah, she's there. There you go, big girl. Back to your home. Now you can see the cabbage right there. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Here's what she was in, folks. Let me show you this. This is where this fish lives. This is the cabbage that we keep talking about in the inhaler bucktail in the middle of it. But this is what we're talking about. 
This is the kind of stuff that houses these fish. They're in here, and even in bright sunny days, you know, Jody likes this pond when it's bright and sunny. The reality is with cabbage stalks like this, they grow to the sky, and when they do, they canopy out. And as that canopy gets fuller and fuller and fuller on the top, create shade beneath them. So even in bright sunny conditions, or partly cloudy like this, they'll slide up underneath that vegetation and they will feed. Yes, good job, big guy. Thanks, Bob. Good job. Too. Coming up next on Simply Fishing, more great angling action. Go to fishinfo.com for your internet connection to the world of fishing. For the source on muskie information, click muskie411.com. Hey folks, take the guesswork out of finding your next fishing destination. Fish where we fish. Get info on our favorite picks. Go to canadianconnection.com or call 1-88-91-LURES. Yeah, here's them thick leafed veggies. Yeah. You're right out in front of that boat, though, you're not going to be able to go. It's rock just underneath the surface. Oh, yes. There's a muskie. Yep. Oh, yeah. Came right up out of the weeds. <laughs> 